I will show you how to process an fMRI and a diffusion tensor imaging examination in BrainMagix. You see that BrainMagix is open. I am in the Brain Fusion interface. I start the wizard. I take the parent folder, which contains all the DICOM files. So Branagix is scanning all the DICOM files to import them. Okay, I see here different exam. I will load the T2. Now I click the control key on my keyboard and I will take two fMRI paradigms, the R and the A. And I will take the DTI. You see that it has been acquired as part of another study. So with the control key, I have selected the four studies. Next. Here, Brand Magic complains that it may not be the same patient. Here it's the same patient, simply that it was anonymized with a different ID. So I can allow him to continue. And now it complains because it has not recognized which paradigm is switched for the fMRI, which is normal. It doesn't know what the A and the R mean. The A, I remember that it's fMRI sentences and the R, I remember that it's fMRI sentences with response paths. The rest is correct. So DTI is indeed a DTI. The T2 is indeed a T2. If it was not, I, I could change it here. But I will let it here. It's correctly, it's a T2 that is correctly assigned fMRI sentences and sentences with response paths. And I click finish. No brain magic is processing the fMRI DTI image. I also register them to the T2 image. So it will take a few minutes. A few minutes later, when Magic shows me this quality control uh, window in which I can verify the registration between the series. So you see that the volume of the reference is the T2, they can see here, and that all other series have been registered. So here the sentences with response paths. You see, I can play here with the transparency. You can put it in color if I prefer. And I see that here it's, it's well registered. So I click accept. You see this green icon. I do the same here. I see that it's also well registered, but let's say that it's that there is a small problem just to show you it, it's not the case here. But what you would do, you would put, click reposition and you would help Brian Magics manually here, moving it a bit to a correct location. And if you want to rotate it, you click the control key and you rotate it. Okay. And then you have two possibilities. Either you are happy with your manual registration and then you let it like that. You could click accept or you say, I have helped Sprint Magix, but now I would like the algorithm to run again. And you click remerge. You see that here, the small wheel is turning. It will take maybe one minute. And you see that now it's well registered. Well, actually, I have perturbed it and Magix managed to, to get it back to, to the right place. So now I'm happy I click accept. And then the same for the diffusion, it's the B0. You see that the small difference that we see is not a problem with registration, it's the fact that DTI, which are API image, are a bit distorted but that the registration itself is good. So accept, and it's only when I have click accept for everything that all this, there are all these green icons that I can click finish. Now all the um, uh, image are loaded. I can zoom a bit, move. And here I can play with the different layer. To here everything is open, but can, I can double click on the layer and you see that the eyes that is here appears or, or disappears. So let's say that I will 
first work on the fMRI, I will open this eye and I recognize the language area, but I find it a bit nosy. I, I select this one, I go to fMRI and I will be a bit more strict with the threshold and put a cluster size of 20. And here, let's say that I add you zero. Yes, let's say like that. You see here, that's the interesting activation where the case area that is close to the tumor. So now I can switch it off, do the same for the other one. Click fMRI. I select it. Okay. Twenty. I go down. Okay, so let's say that I'm happy like that. I could set it in another color, color blue, for example. And you see here that I can switch on and off the two images, which correspond to the two paradigm. And you can see that the the two. Um, areas of Wernicke identified by two different fMRI paradigma are at the same uh, place. I could put a light or blue on this one here. Maybe it will look nicer, for example, this color table and here. Okay, so I can also navigate in the volume, see what else we have, like the supplementary motor area here. Okay, and here we have a nice view of Broca and Wernicke's area, which are bilaterally activated. And you see that the tumor is here pushing on Wernicke's area on the, on the left side. So let's go back to Brain Magic. Now I can switch on another layer. I double click on this DTI layer. And we see here that the optic radiation are very close to the tumor. I could drag them. To drag them, I could, for example, won't be perfectly the optic radiation, it, it will be the fibers that are the closest to the tumor. I go to tracking, here I have enabled DTI, add tracked. I take a region of interest, for example, here. I click track. Okay, and I can put, for example, a second region of interest here, select only the one who go to the tool, you see that I put a must region of interests here. For example, twerk. Okay. And now I can see it in 3D. Okay. There are still some parasite fibers that uh, I could remove by putting, for example, not region of interest on the place that I'm not interested in, for example, like this. You see that it removes parasite fibers, for example, here. Track. Okay, so you see that now I have approximately what I wanted. I can zoom here and see my fibers, which are well, part of the optic radiation and part of U fibers that are very close to my tumor. Now I would like to, I will close the, the 3D view. I would like to export all that. So here I go to another slice. And let's say that I would only like to keep the fMRI blobs and the, the DTI fiber tracking. Okay, like that. For example, I click here, export. I take DICOM on color. It could be on grayscale if you want to export a grayscale image. Next, I give it a name, for example, blobs and tracts. I click finish. It exports it. 
and you see that here it has been exported and I can open this image in an external Dicom viewer. You see that the image has been exported with the geometry of the T2 and with the blobs and the tracks overlaid.